Hello and welcome to Tech Takshila's mock system design interview series. In this segment, we showcase what happens in an actual system design interview session. So we hope that this will help you folks get a better feel of what happens behind the curtain. So let's get started. Hi Bob, this is Alice. Nice to meet you. Hi Alice, this is Bob. Nice to meet you as well. Okay, so we have this time reserved for the system design interview. I hope you're ready. Yep, I am ready. Cool. So I hope you're aware of the different media streaming platforms like Netflix, Amazon Prime or Disney Plus. Yes, I do. Great. So you must have noticed that users when they land on Netflix dashboard, they can either watch some default recommended content suggestions or they can search for some movie or TV shows that they like. Okay. So the question for you is how would you design this content lookup or search functionality for a media streaming platform such as Netflix? Okay, all right. Sounds good. So basically we are interested in the search functionality for movies or TV shows that Netflix hosts in their database. Yes, that's correct. Well, what if the user's query is not present in our database? Well, in that case, we can show some suggestions that users would most likely want to watch. Okay, that makes sense. Well, let's do this thing. Let's proceed one by one. We should first write all the requirements uh, and then you can ask as many questions as you would like. Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds perfect. All right, so let's start with the most basic obvious requirement. Users should be able to see matched content based on his or her search query string. Yes. Next requirement could be to show titles that users will like in case query does not match any content in our backend. Okay. Um, there could be an edge case here. Like what? Like let's say Netflix's catalog can be regionalized in this case, a movie title that is available in US might not be available in India. So should we show that suggestion to Indian user or not? I see. Well, let's not honor the regionalization promise and filter out results if something is not available in a particular region. Sounds good. Another thing to confirm, we are not interested in how the movies or shows are uploaded in Netflix's backend or how a movie will be shown to the user once we have shown the recommendation to the user. Yes, we can think of it as an out of scope requirement. Uh, we're only interested in showing the content suggestions. Uh, well, there could be other microservices that will take care of it. And also, we are not interested in making sure that this search query from X user is uh, actually from X users, like that the metadata would be available to us. Yes, we can also leave user authentication for this service design. All right, then I will now draw a high level component diagram for us to see how the system will work end to end. Okay, that sounds good. So we will first start with the user. User can send the query by typing in the search box. This will land on the one of the Netflix's load balancer, which will act as a gatekeeper for outside internet. Okay, that makes sense. Then this load balancer will check for some metadata, which is what this request is for, and then forwards that request to the respective microservice. Okay. After that, we will have this content discovery service here, which we'll call CDS, where the request will finally land on. Sounds good. This content discovery service basically act as an intermediate service to coordinate between different backend services to fetch the movie or TV show list. Okay. Tell me more about this content discovery service. Yeah. So basically this content discovery service will query this backend database that contains the list of the movie and the show's titles in it, and maybe some metadata about those movies. Okay. And what sort of the database would it be? So I would prefer a NoSQL database because of their properties like being cheap and horizontally scalable. Uh, we can use any NoSQL based document database like MongoDB here, but for our use case, we will use Elasticsearch. Okay. Why Elasticsearch though? Because with Elasticsearch, we get a lot of benefits for free. 
Yeah, like what sort of benefits? Yeah, so Elasticsearch makes it easy to store, clean, and index data for language-based queries. While uploading new movies and shows, we can have a background job that sends this movie titles and metadata to this Elasticsearch data store. And then later, when it receives a query string, it will immediately show the new movie title in the search results. This is also an industry standard where companies like Stack Overflow and SoundCloud also use them extensively for their search functionality. Okay, that makes sense. So what happens when the Elasticsearch returns no result, like if the movie title is not found in the database? Yes, so as we discussed that while gathering requirements, we would also send the request to a content similarity service from our CDS service. Um, yes, what would this content similarity service do? So it will help us get the similar content recommendations for our user query. This service uses machine learning to learn from users and other users viewing and rating patterns. And then it will index similar movies or show titles together in sort of a content bubble. So when the query string comes in and it will try to match it, it will get the closest content bubble for that search query beforehand. This could be top rated shows or movies from other viewers history. I see. Can you list out the features that this ML algorithm would use? To be uh, fair, like uh, I'm not a machine learning expert, but uh, we can extend this uh, feature set to train the model better. But for starters, we can use uh, requesting users viewing history, rating history, and other users viewing and rating history, regional score or rating for that particular movie or show, the time of the day when it is getting most watched, how long the viewers watch similar content, and many more features. I see. Well, that sounds good. Can you now complete the rest of the design? Yeah, sure. So once we have a list of movies or shows to show to the user, we can query another database to fetch the information about that show. And that would be called like a metadata store. And uh, we can use like some sort of AWS NoSQL database offering like DynamoDB here. Mm -hmm. to return that metadata. Okay. And the user will then see a list of recommendation. We can also rank the content based on the likelihood of the watching while keeping the most likely to be watched content on top and uh, least likely below the fourth. Okay, I see. Well, that would be great. Yep, uh, but I think uh, this would be good enough for the basic search functionality. Okay. Uh, Will, would you like to suggest any optimization or improvements to the current design? Yeah, I think that we can definitely reduce some of the query uh, load time by applying some caching around this database. Mm -hmm. So what we can definitely do is like we can apply some sort of uh, Redis-based cl cache cluster here before we can query the main database for the similar content that we want to show to the user through this content similarity service. I see. Okay, well, that sounds good. Um, so it was nice to know you, Bob. I hope you have great interview sessions after this. Best of luck. Thank you so much. So friends, we hope you enjoy this new video in our mock system design interview series. If you're interested in seeing more of these videos, don't forget to subscribe to us and hit that little bell icon to get regular updates. You can also check out other playlists to see basic system design videos or system design case studies. Also drop us a like if you like this video or use the comment box for any suggestions. This video is similar to the one that we did on media streaming platforms in our other list. So go check that out if you like to learn more. Also, you can visit to our website www.techtakshila.com to read a more detailed version of this video. Well, until next time, keep practicing and best of luck. We'll see you in the next video.